Dear learned colleague, welcome once again to this our world twenty thirteen tutorial. We shall be treating the chapter eight of our book, and all these are what we are going to be looking at. Number one, we'll be looking at indenting text indenting using tap indent marker to indent using indent marker to indent using the indent command tabs the tabs selector to hard tab stop removing tab stop then of course we have a uh, challenge now let's go straight to our book now is chapter 8 indenting text in many types of document you may want to indent only the first line of each paragraph this helps to visually separate paragraph from paragraph paragraph from another paragraph it's also possible that you indent every line except for the first line, which is known as hanging indent. So if I should ask you what is hanging indent, it means you indent every line except for the first line. We are going to see how it looks like. You can see this is hanging. See, every other ones are indented well only the first line is not so this is hanging index and this is the normal index that you give a space so that you can know that this is paragraph is different from this paragraph now to indent with uh, using tab key a quick way to indent is to use the tab key. You know where the tab key is? Um, let me bring out my keyboard. I'm going to show us. Uh, keyboard. Yes. I'm going to show us where tab is on the keyboard this will create this is tab yeah this is tab on the keyboard yes. first of all if you want to index you place insertion point at the beginning just the way you are having it in this book you want to index then you press the tab key which is you just press this this tab key on the keyboard and uh, on the ruler we should see the first line indented move to the right one and a half inches the first line of paragraph will be indented let's see how it looks like you can see how it looks like you can see the beginning you put your cursor here you press the tab pressing the tab you will see something like this that means you've indented it if you can't see the ruler select view tab then click the checkbox this next to the ruler if you can't see the ruler remember how we brought out our ruler i think in chapter three two or three then we've learned how to bring out the ruler, remove ruler, hard ruler. So that's how you do it. Indent marker. First indent marker. In some cases, you may want to have more controls over indent. What we'll provide indent marker that allow you to indent paragraph to any locations you want? If we the first line indent is this is the shape i use the first line 
this adjusts the hanging this moves both line and hanging at the same time you can see the, the, the shape how it looks like this and this there are more you can see first line indent is this top if you want to have hanging indent is this middle this this one the left indent marker is the lower one to indent using indent marker place the insertion point anywhere in the paragraph you want to indent select one or more paragraph you see you want to indent all this so you replace your cursor here and copy all this click hold and drag the desired indent marker in our example we click hold and drag left indent and the live preview of it will appear just like this you click and hold the lower side of the ruler make sure you have L here Place the mouse, the paragraph is what is indented. You can see it has moved from here to here. To indent using indent command, there are commands for it also. We want to indent multiple lines of text or lines of a paragraph. You can use indent command. How do you use it? Where do you get it from? You select the text you want to indent, just the way you have it here. On the home tab, click the desire indent command. You can see the type of indent command we have on this ribbon. To increase, either to increase or to decrease, is by increment of one and a half inches, while the decrease is also by one and a half inches. The text will then be indented. To customize indent amount, indent amount, select the page layout tab and enter the design value in the box under indent. Maybe you don't want to use one and a half, you want to use two and a half, or whichever inches you want to use. So this is how you can actually go about it. Tabs. Using tabs give you control over the placement of text. Remember the tab, the keyboard. By default, every time you press the, the tab key, the insertion point will be one, one and a half to the right. Adding tab stuff to the ruler allows you to change the size of the tab. And well, we even allow you to apply more than one tab to a single line. For example, a resume, you could left align the beginning of the line, right align the end of the line, by adding the right tab you can see the left align you can see align right using what right tab now pressing the tab can either add a tab or create a first line then depending on where the insertion point is generally if the a social point is at the beginning of an existing paragraph. It will create a first line indent. Otherwise, it will create a tab. The tab selector. The tab selector is located above the vertical ruler on the left. The vertical ruler somewhere around there. Over the tab selector to see the name of the active tab store this is what we are trying to talk, talk about you have different types of this this is trying to say left align the next to the tab stop this is just click on this if it is not on there make sure it's on there that's what we're trying to see there and center tab right tab tesma tab bar tab those are the types of 
tab stops. Now, let's go details into our index. First line index inside the insert the index marker on the ruler and indent the first line of the text in a paragraph. Hanging indent, remember that it's only the first line that will not be indented, while the other portions of it will be indented as hanging indent. Although bar table, first line incidents and hanging indices appear on the tab sector, they are not technically tabs. Now, to add tab stop, select the paragraph you want to add tab stop. If you don't select any paragraph, the tab, parag the tab so we apply to the current paragraph and 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 any new paragraph you type below it. This is what we're trying to be top. We try to see the top all around. Click the tab selector until the tab stop to using appear our example we take select decimal tab click the location on the horizontal ruler where you want your name to appear it helps to click on the bottom edge of the ruler you can add as many tab stoppers as you once. Removing tabs. A good ideas. Now the challenge. You have to do this on your own. Practice the tab key to indent some text. You need to practice it both your work and the uh, Place the work. Yeah. Select a paragraph and try creating hanging in index. You have to do this and submit. Yes. You have to do this number three and submit online. Number four. Select some text and use increase and decrease to see how they change the text. We are using an example. Great. Practice increase and decrease intent in the summary section of the resume. Yeah. Then explore the tab selector if you are using an example. Select the text in the explore section of the resume and add the level at yeah, three inches, then align each of the critiques to the tab stop. Okay, we we'll come to the end of uh, Chapter 8.